Greetings, everybody. It's Red Hunter. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition, take two. Let's go talk to the Horse Master. So you're the Inquisition, eh? Here you're trying to bring order back. High time someone did. Never thought it'd be one of you big brutes, though. Name's Dennett. Dennett. I served Arl Eamon for 30 years as Horse Master. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. <laughs> It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounds once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. That sounds more than reasonable. Glad to hear it. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bron's in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock kneed plow neck they gave you. Just that over there is a purebred Ferelden Forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. Okay. New operations available. I think it's up here. Hard and High Town, Chapter One. Written by Varric. Free Marches Banner. Okay. That'll that'll come in handy later. Under the Yes it is. Good to see you, Inquisition. Goodbye. Is it in here? Could be in here. Sorry, the camera angle got turned around. Ah. So we're here some more. What did I? Is that a really? Fine, another bottle. We're about to be handed a bunch of quests. She's one of them. Out of my way. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. How are these wolves acting differently from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade and they run. These beasts, though, it's, it's like dark spawn during the blight, or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed, or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beasts. I won't endanger more. Huh? Farewell. Good day. We can deal with the wolves, that's fine. You are mine. Alright. Press shift the gallop, or gallop and uh, equal to dismount. To summon your mount, click select the mount icon on the hotbar or press shift. What the hell 
is this? I, what's this question mark? That's new. Don't go anywhere. So the question mark is nothing. Am I missing a letter or something? There it is. Okay. I thought for sure I was. I walked right past that. Prize winning Druffle, Duffy ran when demons attacked, reward found. I need to go into this house over here. Um because we'll pick up that in a minute. The master doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. If you put up a few watchtowers, we'd all have more warning before the next attack. Fight well out there. It's not what I said. Those refugees are going to defend themselves. They'll need real defenses. I've got a few ideas. You said you had a way to help the refugees. There are too many hills in these parts. Good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there. I'll talk to the master and get your people wet. Alright. Farewell. So we need to. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't mean to talk to you. Goodbye. Farewell. What's this on the map over here? I don't know if that's what I want to start with. I think. Start with over there. No, I don't. I, I remember what this is. I'm gonna go talk to her, but I'm not gonna do it. I'll activate the quest, but again, I'm not gonna do it. Are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You try to ride the course before I call time. No thanks. I'll speak with you later. Alright. So we want to go to. We're going to go here, and then we're going to go here, and then here. Let's ride.
What's up here? By the way, I should save now that I've got a horse. Um. Don't go anywhere. Alright. Right, like the wind bulls eye. Um. This is the only way to travel in style. Alright, there it is. Next up is the Templar camp. Um, I think that's the last one. Oh yeah, so uh, the other thing too is when you ride, you don't have your party with you. It doesn't animate them riding with you. I like to think that you put them in a pocket dimension... Another back. Yeah, someone who cares. Don't try to get over here. Or you, sure. This is their camp. Right? We may. Actually, we may go there. Or, or we, we may go there after this. Discovered Templar encampment. Yes, we did. The Templars have secured a position ahead. Yeah, I know they have. And yet, Who the 
hell is shooting at me? You, get over here. I mean that... I mean that in a very literal sense. Alright, let me pick up that loot. Someone straight ahead. I'm like I'm right on top of them. I love it too because like about it. Get God, that's so that's such a useful ability. We did finish the carrying it because I don't know what that is. Lumber's not right hat. Half? I'll have to look it up. Is there still one more? Feels like there's still one more. Where are you? Oh, we'll take the onyx. But that doesn't help me with this person. Like over here or something? Right on, there you are. Yeah, I really didn't need to stun you. I mean, like. for that? Why two? You know, not that I'm complaining a ton. I don't know why that was worth two power though. Oh, is it because we can't go to right click because I think, I think that might be why. Toy being full is bad. Especially considering that we're not gonna be back to this area. I know what we can I know what we can do. You've got you've got a ring of attack and a belt of sunder. Sorry, up there. I don't, know, don't fall down. Jump. Because I thought I saw. Alright, let's fast travel. Uh, let's travel to the world map. Let's go to Haven. Um, this is tells us about the black wolves. Uh, 
uh, it tells us about siege equipment, which we looked at, um, and Fort Connor. So we've got a couple of quests to do in Haven. Um, we have the notes to turn in to the apothecary. Uh, and it's not a quest, but we've got to uh, we got to dump a lot of our gear. We got to look at uh, look at that weapon, see if it's one-handed because it's kind of unique. Um, I, uh, the one thing I don't know about some of these unique weapons is if they scale with your levels. Like, if, when you level up, the weapons level up. Um, because Bianca, uh, Varric's weapon is unique, and it's been getting, it gets stronger with him. Otherwise, you wouldn't, like, you'd be changing it out pretty quickly if it just stayed at the base damage. I'm going to look between recording episodes to see if unique weapons scale. Okay. It's interesting that I'm. Let's talk to Cass well, what's safe for so we don't accidentally piss Cassandra off. And then let's talk to let's what for the the little squiggly thing. Now let's talk to Cassandra. It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? No specific place. My mercenary band worked mostly in the free marches, however. At least until you crossed the waking sea to reach the conclave, I suppose. Tell me, do you consider the free marches your home? Are you eager to go back? Wherever I am is home enough for me. That's how I feel now. After years of tending to business for the divine. I'd like to get to know you better. You would. Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. Is there any harm in us becoming a little closer? Plenty. Is that right? <sighs> As you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentagon, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lord. member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need to pass if we're related at all. And they have them. Oh yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. Join the Seekers to get away from that. It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glory. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Tell me about your brother. I uh, would prefer not to speak of him to you. Another time, perhaps. So you were the right hand to the Divine. Divine Justinian, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish, but it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. For what 
does a right hand do exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the sea. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. She thought she could really change things. Justinia knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break your bones so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It's a nice analogy. The answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. So what's the story about you becoming the right hand? Sweet Andraste, do you really want to hear that? It was, what, 18, 20 years ago? Some still discuss it like it happened yesterday. The tale gets bigger each time it's told. I barely recognize myself within it now. It's how tales. I'm sure you're just being modest. <laughs> I was there. I think I know what happened. To hear others tell it, I alone saved Divine Beatrix from a horde of dragons sent to assault the Grand Cathedral. Rather impressive for such a young seeker, wouldn't you say? How old is she? I stumbled upon a conspiracy to kill Beatrix. A Templar Knight Commander was at its heart. And there was a dragon battle at the Grand Cathedral that I had helped from loyal mages who rallied to the cause. They freed the dragons from magical control. Without them, the Divine and I would both have died. Yet I became the right hand, and they are forgotten. You're delightful, you know that? No, I do not know that. Mm -hmm. I object. There is nothing delightful about me. I beg to differ. I do too. I think I preferred you in the stocks. <laughs> you don't seem to like your homeland much. My family polluted it for me. What little I saw of my homeland was through the bars of a gilded cage. My uncle treated me like a porcelain doll to be placed on a shelf and dusted only when necessary. Thus, I did not see Navarra, the real Navarra, until much later. By then, I realized I knew it not at all. Your uncle? What about your parents? They had the misfortune of taking the wrong side in the second attempt to overthrow King Marcus. The king executed them but spared my brother and I since we were family and children at the time. Thus we were raised by my uncle, a mortalitasi who preferred the company of his corpses to the living. I don't know what that means. I mean, I do, Your but... uncle was a mortalitasi? A death mage. He still is. My countrymen do not burn the dead. They bury them in special crypts. The mortalitasi supervise the crypts, like priests. Uncle Vestalis oversees the Grand Necropolis. Nevarans spend more time honoring dead relatives than they do with living ones. It is odd to be so fascinated with death and its trappings. I will never understand it. I'll let you get back to work. Hi, we just unlocked a bunch of codexes. And there's something in the middle of this thing for me to loot. Okay, we'll come back to this. Um, and even though Cassandra is the one I want to romance the character, where is Colin? Oh, there's stuff to loot out here. Lissa wants to know if you have any. 
want to sell. I don't want to sell that, but I do want to sell this. Um, I don't know if uh, no, sell all. All right, so I'm not gonna sell. I don't wanna sell the rings until. Wait, she has lunge and slash, right? I gave her lunge and slash. Did I not give her lunge and slash? I don't. Know, we'll figure that out later. Actually, the weapon we want to look at. So, before we sell anything else, let's take a look at weapons. That's what I thought. Okay, Raider Hatchet, Mercenary Lord Blade. What else is here? I really wish that this was sorted by, you know. Okay. It does have minus three attack, the attacks lower. And there's no armor penetration, but it sunders, it does critical damage bonus. A challenge wield in battle for a while the blade offers overwhelming feedback. It takes little from the hand it takes little from the handler. You dispatch no end of foes together, but for all the effort it takes to command, you might as well talk to the hand. Alright, let's see what it looks like. That looks cool, we're gonna use it. What are you currently using plus four? I don't know. I, I think I like the Mercenary Lord Blade better. Can you actually equip the Longsword of the Dragon? You can. It does do fire damage, so it's really 76 damage. Because it has a fire rune. We can move this to valuables. Let's 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 move this to valuables. I mean, it looks awesome, but it's not as good of a weapon as, unfortunately, as the, uh, can I take the fire rune? I, I want to kind of take the fire, the lesser fire rune off before I try to sell the blade. We have a, we have the three staffs, okay? So we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. We're only gonna have, and we only need one bow. I also have the advantage of knowing what my nobody's level six, so let's look at helmets. You're already wearing a Frauden's soldier helmet. You are wearing the rash fine thing. Ooh. 
We're getting another coronary very soon, probably possibly in one of the next parts. I'm gonna go do uh I'm gonna go unlock the storm coast, I think. Alright. We're gonna keep um we're gonna get rid of the apprentice coast uh because um, the, w w like I said in an earlier part, we're gonna get two more, okay. So the companions we're gonna get are, we're gonna get, um, two more warriors. Uh, which we're going to make both two-handed warriors. Well, one starts as one and then one. I think specs and the two-handed. I think you choose, or I can respec him, I don't know. Anyway, um. Simply because we already have two uh, weapon and shield warriors. Um, we get three. We get two more mages. One is going to be an ice mage. One's going to be a storm mage. Um, and then we get we get another archer. Um. Let's make sure. Uh, stone bear armor. If it's the exact same as the scout armor, the scout armor looks a lot better. Uh, let's move this to valuables. Let's move this to valuables. I mean the stone bear arm. The stone bear armor looks awful. All right, let's take a look at the heavy. This is warrior level six, so no. Now we can move this to valuables. Can you wear the heavy armor of the dragon, Cassandra? What are you wearing right now? So because of that, um, I don't know what the, uh, but we're going to find better armor than this. Don't you have lunge and sl I feel like you have lunge and slash. I feel like I gave you lunge and slash. Didn't I? Well, I was going to. Or something like that. I gave you lunge and slash, right? Okay. Cassandra. Let's take a look at you. See your abilities. Yeah. I could I give you London slash, yeah, okay. So let's sell all our valuables. Alright. What can we buy? Anything of note? No. Alright. And we're going to call the episode here. I mean... I guess we'll talk to Beric. And then we'll call the episode.
Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. In the book, you say that first Enchanter Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses. How? Why? Do I look like an expert on magical weirdness to you? Well, I can't tell you how. But why, all I can say is he was desperate. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her own Davis plan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the raiders. She's called herself an admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing. <laughs> Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Last I knew, Hawk's sister Bethany was doing something wardeny near the Anderfell border. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. Huh? Thanks for watching, guys. We're gonna call this an episode here. Red Hunter out.